Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Grim here, and I hope, like my good self, you've enjoyed your first weekend of Titanfall, if you're living in the EU. Gotta say, amazing. Uh, really, 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 really enjoyed it. But um, this is not a review or any of that good stuff. This is a mailbox. Now, just quickly, I'll do a shout out to Total Biscuit. I used to watch him back in the day when he was doing the Cataclysm World of Warcraft uh, beta stuff and during that he would have a mailbox session where he would basically talk about comments that have been posted on the forums that had interested him so with no further ado I'm going to do the same with Titanfall because at the moment there's a lot of talk there's a lot of things out there and a lot of mixed reviews so I just thought you know what I'm just going to grab some random stuff off the forum if you're interested in the forum it is at respawn site if you just put in respawn.com and you'll have the forums there Anyway, let's crack on. First one is Fat Slapper. Love the name. There needs to be a replacement to this mechanic. We're talking about burn cards here. It's simply too cumbersome to manually pick and use cards for each game. I have no idea how to fix it. Maybe do a random power-up on killstreaks or something like that. But it's just too tedious to remember to do for each and every game. I will say this, you're a Call of Duty player, at a guess. Now, I know the killstreak part of it gives it away, but also the fact that no doubt, like many, many, many Call of Duty players, myself included, I will not deny this, you spam, you spam that respawn button. Respawn, 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 because you want to get back in the game. You've just got to get back in, respawn, respawn, respawn. And of course, you respawn back in, you're like, ah, oh, I've done it in Call of Duty, shit, I meant to change my class or I meant to do this and it's gone and then you have to wait until you die again now I have no doubt you're probably doing the same thing you're like respawn 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 oh damn I meant to use that burn card the fact is the reason it's supposedly too cumbersome too annoying at the moment is simply the fact we've not had anything like this now I also play quite a bit of battlefield and I tend to find that in battlefield I will quite happily sit out of the game for you know, 30 seconds, trying to look at a class, trying to think, actually, no, that guy is constantly sitting, or these guys are constantly sitting on that building, so I'll look through, I'll look for my recon kit, I'm going to use this sniper, I'm going to set it up like this, and then I'll go back into the game. Now, I know Battlefield is a far slower game, but sometimes you just need to get into that, you need to break that cycle that you used to. Uh, Battlefield's done it with me, now I sort of, one, it also de-stresses you if you just stop. Just watch the kill cam, see what's going on, because it's it's an opportunity to see through that guy's eyes. You can watch, and you know has he got teammates around him? If there's certainly if you're playing objective, you know, are four of his mates with him as he pushes for your flag or for your domination point? And in that space, you're giving yourself time to also think of right. Do I need burn cards? So for instance, I played a game today where. There was a guy killed me on CDOM. We were on, oh, uh, the Cove one, Bandits Cove or whatever it is. And I thought, I'm going to watch this. So I watched it. Guy had two of his mates with him. So I knew there were three guys on this flag. So I was like, right, okay then. Because I watched it, I had time. I was thinking. I went into my burn cards. I selected uh, the, I think it's Echo. It was either the Echo one where you see through the walls, or it was the enemies appearing on mini-map for like 9 seconds. Oh, sorry, every 10 seconds. Jump back into the game, and all of a sudden I had all the tools I needed to get these guys off the flag. Now, rematch is a big help for that. I've won domination games on my own just by having three rematches sat there ready. So, just get into the habit of just taking two seconds, watch your kill cam, and then go for it use those burn cards, because they do seriously help, they can turn the game around. On to the next one. Okay, so this one is from Shabster. Hi lads, not sure if anyone has noticed, but over the last few days there seemed to have been an inherent issue with the map cycling. A few of the maps have repeatedly cycled over and over, rather than all of the maps being cycled within a few hours of gameplay. I managed to get a decent amount of time in over the weekend with roughly four hours or so without any disconnects or leaving for a bathroom break. And did notice that not all of the maps were being cycled. Gameplay was attrition. Anyone else noticed this? Well, Shabster, yes, most definitely. I noticed this. 
For us, it was very much Outpost 207 and Airbase kept coming up over and over and over again, mixed in with a little bit of Colony and a little bit of Nexus. Those were the big four that we played, and we played solidly pretty much for three days. So, I'm not quite sure. I can understand if, for instance, Angel City and Fracture have been left out, not left out of the rotation, but have been, the percentage chance of them coming up has been lowered, because obviously we played that in beta, and if you talk to a lot of guys who played the Battlefield before beta, they will say that they hate Siege of Shanghai, because, you know, not because of the map or anything like that, but purely for the fact it was played to death during the beta. So I can understand with those two being lowered, because Angel City I think I've seen once, maybe twice. But, uh, yeah, fingers crossed the guys at Respawn, they can sort it out and we can get a little bit more variety in the maps. Because I actually like, like, this is a relatively colourful map. There's, like, a lot of things going on, daylight, you know, lovely scenery. Lagoon is a very pretty looking map. Uh, I like the Smuggler's Covey one, I can't remember what it's called, Bandit's Cove or something. You know, there's a lot of nice, pretty, colourful maps. And it's just depressing playing Airbase and Outpost 207, which are both nighttime boring looking maps so uh, yeah fingers crossed that they can get that sorted and we can get a few more maps going into the rotation on to the last question for the day young mr explosive all a day writes just wanted to say i'm loving the generation challenges i think they will add a lot of longevity to the game i don't think i would have used the plasma rail gun if it wasn't for the fourth generation requirement challenges now, I love it. It's so much fun. Good job, Respawn. In fact, good job all round. I've played first person shooter games for a long time. I cut my teeth on GoldenEye, Battlefield 2, and COD 4 multiplayer wise, and this is honestly the best multiplayer first person shooter there's ever been. Big smiley face. Now, I will say there, Explosive All Day, Easy Tiger. I can show you many, many posts of. Various Call of Duties, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, generally all of them actually, since Modern Warfare 2, that people have gone, this is it. This is the greatest first person shooter that has ever been created. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Oh my god. Later to be, normally like a month later to be, <coughs> I've, uh, I've stopped playing that Call of Duty because uh, I'm playing other things. <coughs> It's just, it happens constantly. So ease off. You need to remember that a game is not complete until, norm well, with Call of Duty it's normally a year, two years uh, into its, or after its release date, into its life cycle. Now, generally that's because of numerous things. Patches are one of the big things. Also, you have to look at DLCs. A game is not complete until all its DLCs have been released. We do not know what they're going to give us. And we certainly know there's going to be maps in these DLCs, but we don't know whether there's going to be weapons. We don't know if there's going to be Titan weapons. We don't know if there's going to be new Titans. Now, potentially at the moment, this game is, you know, a few balance tweaks here and there. You know, we just spoke about the rotation of the maps. Those things get sorted, and this game is certainly well up there, in my opinion at the moment. But... They could release a Titan that is just crushes everything else. It's just there's no point going up against it unless you have that Titan. There could be a particular Titan weapon. There could be a pilot weapon. I I know a lot of people at the moment are moaning that the 101 could certainly do with a nerf because there really is no point not using it. So hold your horses. Whereas I agree with you in principle, explosive. You need to just hang in there, kid, and wait until, you know, we've started to... Give it a year. Give it a year. Give it the new the DLC dropping. There's three of them. Wait until they've dropped. Then we will have... And get your neck snapped, Grim. Then we'll know, you know, whether this is really the complete article. But um, that's it for the mailbox, guys. That's me done and dusted. And fingers crossed you'll catch me again Monday, Friday. So I'm going to be doing this. So uh, if you've got any tips, any improvements, anything you want me to talk about... I'm right here, guys. Just post something in the comments. Catch you all later. Have a good one.